Hello Libra, thank you for joining me. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Uh, this is your reading for the week beginning the 17th through to the 23rd of May 2021 or thereabouts. I've pre-shuffled the cards Libra to get your energy into the cards. So um, I'll just do a final shuffle now but just to quickly say it is a general reading so um, it won't resonate with everybody, it can't but it certainly will with some of you so take what resonates with you um, and leave the rest perhaps for somebody else. So I'll just do a final shuffle of the Moonology Oracle cards and we we'll get started with your reading. and the Oracle of Visions. So first of all, we have the full moon in Capricorn and this is saying that an, the end of a tough cycle approaches for you, for some of you Libra. So I'll just put that to one side for now. And then we have number 37 and this talks about relationships, um, interactions with others, um, relationships, interaction with others, how we see each other, how we see ourselves. Um, so let's see, let's see where that's going. And so the ending of a tough cycle approaches. So I'll just do a final shuffle of the Tarot of Dreams. And we'll lay them out. So there's the heart of your reading, Libra. What's on your mind? The root of the matter. Past influences. The future going forward. And then something else that your guides would like to say. Um, as a piece of advice, perhaps, or guidance. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Coins. And this is when they've just got to go a little bit further to go through the archway. And there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of abundance waiting for you. So the abundance is coming in here. And it's within um, a home family situation. Right. So abundance, very close now. Just got to go a little bit further. So I'll just pop that to one side. And final shuffle of the um, light seers. Now we have got a card that's just jumped out, it's the Ten of Cups. Um, so we've had the Ten of Coins and now we've got the Ten of Cups. And those, So this is lots of happiness and joy, contentment, um, rainbow colours, everything you could wish for. Um, the Ten of Cups within, within the home, love and relationships, family situation. So beautiful energy is coming out here for you Libra. And of course one of the first cards we had... Right, we've got the death and rebirth card that's just jumped out. So um, this is the shedding of something, the ending of something, some form of energy. Um, but it's a time of rebirth and transformation. Um, perhaps for some of you within a, a particular relationship. Um, but we'll see. There's something ending, ready for the sun to shine through. Transformation and going forward, uh, a time of rebirth. So I'll just pop that back in. And another couple of shuffles and see where we're going. Okay, Libra. And I'll just lay these cards on top for a little bit of depth and clarity. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Emperor energy. Um, the Emperor is very masculine energy, although it's not gender specific. Libra because it's very much about being in your power being in your power taking control um, having complete autonomy and authority um, all right so um, that's another overall energy so let's see where this is going so there's something about relationships the ending of a tough cycle approaching we've had two very abundant um, in within the family situation energies um, and now we've got the Emperor so let's see Libra so at the heart of your reading we have the Palace of Coins and the Knight of Cups um, the Palace of Coins is the home or a homework environment to do with money earnings 
work, career, uh, money management perhaps. So something very much to do with money within the home environment. Um, and then the Knight of Cups um, delivering something that's very meaningful to your heart. It's almost like an offer of love um, coming in or has come in um, within this home environment. But the home environment, the, the emphasis is on money um, and work, if you like. But there's, some, there's an offer. There's an offer here. Um, very romantic offer here. So let's see. Let's see where this is going. Okay. So what's on your mind at the moment? Wow. Well, here we go again. We've got the Ten of Cups again, Libra, and the Moon energy. So what you're thinking about is this very loving home environment, love and relationships. But there's something that you've, you're not clear about within that home environment. There's a lack of clarity. Something's a bit vague. Something you can't see. There's something you're not seeing very clearly within this. And I, I think it's to do with relationships within this home environment. And that's what you're thinking about at the moment. So this is clearly a reading to do with um, relationships, family, home environments. And love. There's lots of love here. At the root of this we have the judgment card and the chariot. So the judgment, this is this is already in place because it's at the root of the situation. So the, there has been a judgment call of some sort. Um, where there's uh, some form of a rebirth happening um, but having to consider what's gone, learning from the past um, so, so as not to repeat any negative cycles um, so important times when the judgment card comes through um, and then the chariot so things started to pick up a pace and um, a need to take the reins on a situation charging forward some events moving forward quickly but taking control um, as this time of judgment, judgment call has happened. Um, I feel this is in the recent past. So let's have a look at the um, so in the re so that the, the sorry the, the judgment and the chariot that was at the root of the situation although it is still referring to what's already happened. Now, in the past influences, we have the death card again, and we had the death card that jumped out before. Um, and we've got judgment again. So the cards are repeating themselves, so it's quite a significant message here. Um, so um, in the past, there's been um, a shedding of something, something ending. Uh, they, they, we've got the snake of wisdom here. And this, of course, snakes have to shed their skin every now and again to allow themselves to grow and develop and evolve um, and that's the message so something happened in the past where something had to be shed something ended but to allow for new growth and it was to do with the judgment call it was to do with the time of rebirth in the past um, and so lessons lessons I feel lessons were learned or had to be learned from something that had to be let go um, ready for your rebirth going forward. So we've had two judgment cards, energies, to do with something that's already happened. So that's quite significant for whoever this is for. Now, going forward, we have the five of coins and the page of pentacles, and the pentacles and the coins, both the same energy. It's to, this is to do with money, income, career. Um, so, but going forward, the five of coins, this is very much an energy of, of your glass feeling half empty, Libra, for whoever this is for. So feeling left out in the cold to do with um, what you have and what you feel you don't have. Um, 
you you do have enough and that's what the five of pentacles here in the window is is saying you know you are being looked after you are being looked over but your your energy going forward at some point is that a sense of lack of not having enough or isolation a sense of isolation um and the clarifier is the page of, page of pentacles and this is about something a new money opportunity um, a new career opportunity perhaps new income opportunity um, it, 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 sometimes it's to do with a younger person a young a young person and to do with money in some in some way um, but leaving you feel feeling sort of left out in the cold and not having enough so take it how it resonates with your Libra so there are the energies going forward now then what do your guides want to say to you or your energies well we have the devil energy here and the queen of pentacles so the devil energy is very much about temptation and entrapment um, feeling stuck, feeling bound to something, um, feeling like, you know, feeling drawn in, being dra or being drawn in, in fact. Um, so this could well be um, an indicator of a, an energy around you, perhaps an obsessive energy, um, preoccupied, obsessive um, energy. Um, sometimes it's about addiction as well. Um, so, you know, this could be somebody um, around you that has this energy that can be it can be quite um, unpredictable to be around this sort of an energy quite draining um, if it's not somebody around you then this could be indicating Libra for some of you that to be mindful of not having tapping into this shadow energy not allowing something to draw you in to take control. The clarifier is the Queen of Pentacles. Um, it's not gender specific, but this is very much about somebody who has their own business, runs their own business for many of you. Very good with money, can, managing money. Um, very much at home within nature, very earth based. Um, so this could be an aspect of yourself, Libra, although you're an air swords energy. We've all got the different elements within us that come to the fore um, at different times. So there could be an aspect of yourself, Libra, that, um, you know, to do with money, career, work. Um, but there's a doubt. I'm going to get some more information. So this is either an aspect of yourself that you are becoming consumed um, or drawn in or um, very, very preoccupied with something to do with um, work, career, money. Um, all this is about somebody connected to you, somebody connected to you that has these energies. So let's see. I'm just going to get some more information here. Because, interestingly, the reading has started off to do with very much to do with relationships. Um, judgment calls something to but it is very much within the home environment to do with money um, but but somebody offering their cup of love here something that's very meaningful an opportunity that's very meaningful for your heart space um, it, it is quite a seductive energy within itself this particular knight of cups but something in the past had to be shared out to be let go of ready for this um, rebirth but there's definitely an energy about family, abundance within a family situation that you're thinking about and lots of love as well that you're thinking about. But something is lacking clarity. Something is lacking clarity. Now we have the Emperor energy here and underneath that, yes, we've got the, the Ten of Pentacles again, which is the abundance within the family. So it's very much linked to this Emperor energy. Um, and underneath that, we have the devil energy again. So that would indicate that this devil energy is connected to 
um, an emperor with quite a masculine energy, somebody who likes to have control um, that but draws you in. Um, yes, and it's to do with somebody who's been in, around for a long time. There's some form of an imbalance here. Right. Okay. Right. Underneath the Ten of Coins, we have the Queen of Swords. And this is very much representing an aspect of yourself, Libra, being very much swords energy. So applying somebody applying logic, um, thinking with their mind. I mean, it's not gender specific, and it could this could be somebody connected to you, Libra. Um, but somebody that's thinking very logically within this home environment where there's lots of abundance, but being prepared to. Um, cut away that which is no longer serving them. Um, okay, and here's the independent person, um, somebody who's very autonomous, very good at managing money, working with money, self-sufficient. And it's to do with a relationship. This is to do with a relationship. Um, and standing your ground, the one final thing, one final hurdle that needs to be overcome here. So there's a final... It's standing your ground, or somebody's standing their ground, a final hurdle to do with a relationship, um, a relationship of some sort. Um, and then there's being independent and autonomous, thinking autonomously, um, but not, not suffering fools gladly, cutting, being prepared, you know, thinking logically and being prepared to cut away that which is no longer serving um, within this abundant home, family, environment right okay i'm going to get some more information so we've got a combination here of family relationships but definitely this the there's interwoven is money income um but also a devil energy here a, a very power quite a powerful devil energy that seems to be connected to an emperor energy so i'm going to get more information now um, about the Five of Coins and the Page of Pentacles going forward. So could we have some more information please concerning the Five of Coins and the Page of Pentacles um, going forward please, into the near future. Two more, please. Two more. Two more, please. Right, we've had a judgment call, so this is um, sort of a judgment call now. So there's a time of it's a time of rebirth coming up, but there's a need to learn from the past. So it's about um, a call to action, rising, you know, standing up to be counted. So I'll just pop. Okay. I just pop that back in. That was. I'm going to put that to one side. Right. Two more, please. It's interesting that the judgment card wasn't part of this particular deck. Okay, so that's interesting. That and that actually jumped out. So, okay, so connected to the Five of Coins, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Six of Cups. And now the Queen of Cups is very nurturing, kind, caring, mothering energy. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, water energy. So this is very much somebody who offers love, bringing her cup of love forward, offering her cup of love here. 
Um, but it's very much about the energy of the of the Queen of Cups, I feel, here. So this could be representing an aspect of yourself, Libra. This could be yourself or it's somebody connected to you. Um, but then we've got the Six of Cups and this is about um, relationships, um, long-term relationships, either from the past or somebody that's been with you in a relationship for a long time. Um, thinking about you know this relationship over time um, with the Queen of Cups energy connected here but these are clarifies for the five of coins and so it's feeling isolated left out there's an energy here going forward a feeling left out in the cold I feel um, emotionally feeling left out in the cold concerning this relationship And then the page of, of pentacles, um, we have the king of swords um, and the four of cups. Um, so the, the king the king of swords, um, so we've already seen the queen of swords um, underneath the ten of coins here. So now we've got the king, the king of swords here and um, he is very much um, a very determined energy, very much in his mind, um, very knowledgeable, very intellectual here. And um, again, will not suffer fools gladly. Um, think things through, doesn't allow his emotions to dictate the order of things, if you like. Um, very much a, a leader energy, very much at the top of his game. Clear thinker. Um, now he's come out as clarity for the page of pentacles so some form of um, a new a new money opportunity that he's thinking you know they've got the king of swords thinking very deep. I mean this could be representing an aspect of yourself Libra or it's somebody connected to you and the four of the four of cups the four of chalices um, And this is feeling locked in, um, feeling stuck here and, you know, being inside, looking out at the rain. Quite a gloomy energy to do with this card, a bit, a bit gloomy and, you know, what's on offer is outside. Um, you just got to, she's just got to open the window, if you like, to get to these cups here that are all full. However... She's not, she's not really interested in those. I feel she, she's thinking they're full of rainwater, so she, they're not, she doesn't, they don't seem valuable to her. Um, and she's very preoccupied with the bad weather, with the rain coming down. So this is very much an energy of being, feeling preoccupied. Um, and of course, we've already had the five of coins here, which is, you know, feeling left out in the cold, a sense of lack. And this is, this four of cups in particular is a very similar energy to this one. Although rather than being left out in the cold, this is being, feeling stuck, you know, stuck inside, trapped. I mean, you know, with COVID, many people have felt like that, this, haven't they? But I'm not, I'm not sure that this is anything particularly to do with COVID, but it could be for, for somebody or for some of you. So if, if we look at these energies all together, um, Libra, then what we can see here is going forward into the near future, for some reason, feeling a sense of lack, um, concerning um, matters to do with the heart and a relationship, a long-term relationship um, because there's a, a, a new opportunity as far as money is concerned and somebody's giving some deep um, logical thought to this um, and but at the same time feeling stuck, feeling trapped feeling a sense of there's, there's no value in something around. There's no value. Okay, I'm going to get more information now. Um, I mean, there's certainly a judgment call around, I feel, that's coming up. 
Right, could we have some more information concerning the Devil Energy and the Queen of Pentacles, please? Some more information concerning the Devil Energy and the Queen of Pentacles, please. Two more, please. Two more. So connected to this, um, this devil energy we have the knight of swords and we have the death card again so um the knight of swords there's a there's some information on the way some there's information a message going to be delivered it's coming in it's going to come in quite quickly and it's to do with the ending of something it's to do with something coming to an end um ready for a transformation energy and i think that's quite that linked with the judgment card here so there's something going to be coming to an end um, and this message is going to be delivered and it's something to do with this um, obsessive, whatever this energy is, this obsessive energy or this um, temptation, some, some form of a temptation. But there's a message coming that's going to bring an end to this, whatever this is to do with. Now. We have the Queen of Swords, uh, sorry, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Um, so with the Queen of Pentacles, with the Ace of Swords connected here, this is, this is saying that there's been an opportunity for a new beginning, for grasping the nettle, for taking control. But this opportunity has been around for a while um, and it's an, a, a universe led one that, that would have, you know, that was promising some form of um, victory and success, new beginnings, but um, it wasn't taken up. Um, you see this figure in front of the sword sort of meditating, got his back to the sword. And if he knows it's there, he's sort of ignoring it and he's very much preoccupied in his meditation, meditative practices. Um, and so this sword, this opportunity has been around for a while because you can see the the uh, weeds are growing, there's plant life growing up. Um, but we've got the new moon here, so it's almost like this opportunity is, is coming round again to do with um, the Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, and then we have, yes, the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfilment. Um, blessings, wishes coming true. Wishes and blessings coming in. We've got the lady, lady, ladybird here, lady luck. So if we bring those all together for you, Libra, um, then whatever this devil energy is to do with, there's, there's information coming in that's going to bring an end, there's going to be a shedding, a releasing, ready for a time of transformation and prob probably rebirth, I feel, for somebody or for some of you. Um, and then further clarification, it's something to do with the Queen of Pentacles energy. This is to do with um, money, somebody who worked for themselves, earning money, bringing money to the table, very good at managing money. And within this, I feel it's within this um, home environment to do with money um, and relationships. So the Queen of Pentacles, um, there's been an offer an opportunity for a new beginning, for um, victory and success. But it's been around for a while, but I feel it's coming round again because of this new moon energy. I mean, I hope we are in a time of the new moon, at, at, you know, at this time. Um, and it's there's some form of a wish fulfillment, blessings and wish fulfillment there. As a result. All right, um, Libra, I'm just going to get two final messages for you. Could 
we have two final messages, please, for Libra. Two final messages, please, for Libra. So at Libra we have um, Desert Passage, you trust that there's a divine plan um, and protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels, beautiful. So Desert Passage, so what this is saying is that, that, that there are some challenges ahead, Libra, um, and it's going to feel tough going you know you're negotiating your way on this journey at this part of your journey and having to negotiate your way through the desert passage if you like um, and you can imagine if you are going through the desert it's going to be very hot very dry get thirsty and you just have to find your way to the next oasis don't you um, so this is negotiating your way now through this desert passage but there's a need to trust that there's a divine plan in place here because you are being protected by the angels you're being guided by the angels by universal energies um, and you are cherished by the angels so you know you are you're going to you're heading towards your wish fulfillment here the many many blessings here so there's opportunities now coming around again for you. Um, but it could mean... Um, it could mean having to... Um, need to learn from the past. Perhaps from judgments made in the past. That perhaps, you know, looking at what went well but what didn't go so well also. And a need to move on from whatever this de a devil energy refers to for yourself and bring something need to bring something to an end ready for a transformation time but there's certainly a message on its way a message going to be delivered which will give you more clarity on this situation but do trust you know there is a divine plan at work here libra you are protected by angels all right, Libra, whoever this was for, um, I hope you've enjoyed the reading and it's had some meaning and given some clarity to you for your situation. But good luck going forward and I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye-bye for now.